welcome to Reflecting God today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I hope uh, that you were blessed uh, by whatever it is that you guys had, by the sermons that have been spoken, and we, we hope that you're excited for this brand new week as we uh, tackle another week, another work uh, life, uh, and I hope that we can be blessed by the Word of God this week. And then this morning, uh, I want to tackle the text in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 13, which the Bible says, Make straight make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. See, we cannot realize how powerful for good or for evil is our influence upon those that we associate with, right? Uh, our young friends, uh, they may understand or they may maintain the simplicity of true godliness. We may follow on just to know the Lord and that His going and His going forth is prepared as the morning is prepared. You may know that God is your helper. You, you will have an increase of light and joy and hope and consolation in Jesus Christ. See, as you commit the keeping of your souls to the heavenly powers, and become separated from corrupt worldly influences. To make straight paths for our feet, this is our work. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. See, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. He will be with us every day as we advance in the narrow path and through the straight gate that leads to everlasting life. He will always be our helper. He will always be our strength. Let us praise Him more. We all have received so much to be able to praise Him. Now let us talk more of Him. Let us talk much of Him and let us love Him. And for younger people, Christ loves you. When, when the mothers brought the little children to Jesus that, that He might place his hands on them in blessing, the disciples were going to send them away. But the master said, the master was giving an important lesson to the people and the disciples thought that he should not be disturbed. But Jesus heard their words and he said, don't forbid them. For like them is the kingdom of heaven. And I feel that there's, there's, there should be a deep interest in every single one of these little children. And we hope that you will all treat them very tenderly. In the family, let those who are older be patient and kind to their younger brothers and younger sisters. They may help to educate the little ones in a knowledge of the Bible. Do not put vim into your voice when you speak to them. Put in the blessedness that comes from doing right, from pleasing the Lord. Sometimes, Right? Especially with young children, we tend to look down because, well, they're young children. But it, it, if we talk to them as we would to an adult, you will see that they can really understand some of the things that, that, that we really give to them, right? And so treat everyone, no matter how intellectual that they are, treat everyone the way that you would want Jesus to treat you. And this is how we reflect God today.